Oh yeah. Uh, your next comic, this guy is, uh, is another one of my favorite newcomers to the scene. Uh, give it up for the very funny Charles Ellis. What's up, everybody? All right, before I even get into the jokes, did somebody else see a black dude coming here with fucking rollerblades earlier? Uh, yes. Yeah. Like, I, I thought I was tripping for a second. Like, thank you. He actually works here. Uh, oh my bad. Now I feel like a dick. Missing plenty of fruity loops. All right, so I was thinking today. You know what I fucking hate? I hate to see like little eight, nine year olds with karate black belts. Like, whenever I see one, I just want to run up to them and spar to kick them in the chest and make their parents get a fucking refund. Because they're not real black. Like, you think of a black belt, and it's like somebody that's trained for years, and they can kill a man with just one punch. Not like a little snod nose whose parents drop him off at a McDojo next to Panera Bread because they need a fucking babysitter for a couple hours. Like, that's not a black belt to me. And it... <clears throat> And it's, that's what it is, like a glorified babysitter, but if you just dropped your kids off at a babysitter and they were like, do you mind if I teach them to break boards and throw kicks while you're gone? Is that cool? You'd be like, no. Make them do their homework and give them a fucking Lunchable or something, you fucking psycho. Like, <clears throat> of course, my luck, the first time I go to kick a kid, it'd be like some like fucking prodigy that pulls out some nunchucks and breaks my fucking leg. That's how that would go down. <clears throat> I, mean, I like martial arts. I love the UFC. Anybody UFC fans here? Woo! Love that shit. Like, it's the only sport that I watch. And just like any dude that watches the sport, I like to convince myself I could do that shit if I just started training a couple of years earlier. And I know that shit's not true for several reasons. One, pretty sure the Buffalo Wild Wings is not part of the diet of an elite athlete. <laughs> and, and two, I'm not a big fan of being punched in the face. Like, I, I just don't dig it. I don't know if you guys have been punched in the face, but it's not fucking fun. And I just know that even if I got up like the courage and I trained and everything and I got in the cage, as soon as they closed that cage, I just pissed myself. Like that would be how I would lose. It'd be like loser by way of urination. <laughs> Charles trickle down Ellis. Like that's my whole fucking MMA record. That's how I would go out, and that's embarrassing. But that shit's true. <clears throat> and uh, the UFC, like the universe, will teach you lessons. And the universe used my love for the UFC to kind of put me in my fucking place one time. Because I work in the mall. <clears throat> That's how you know I made all the right decisions in life. But they, they bring in, like, once, twice a week, they bring in, like, special kids. Like, well, let's just call them retards. <laughs> to, like, eat lunch and shit. And one day I, I come in and I see this little retarded kid wearing a NASCAR shirt. And I'm like, of course he likes NASCAR. He's fucking retarded. What does he know? But then I come in the very next day, same kid with the UFC shirt on. And I'm like, I see what you did there, universe. Well played. Like, that should have been where I was like, namaste, and like, we're all connected, and I should have just took that life lesson and kept it moving. But I'm like, who the hell's letting a retarded kid watch cage fights? Because like, uh, let's be honest, like, the, the term retard strong exists for a reason. And so if he decides he wants to choke out a caretaker, who's going to stop him? Not me, I'm 0-1. <laughs> yeah. And maybe like mall security, they look half retarded anyway, they're on segways with helmets. <laughs> I'm just saying if you're gonna let like a retarded kid watch cage fights, you should work on your ground yet. Basically. <laughs> Anybody here take a martial art? You do? What do you take? That's what's up. If you just say Taekwondo, I'd laugh at you. But uh, I, I take I take a martial art, I train for self-defense, but really I think all it's gonna boil down to is the dick punch. Like, just start training on a dick punch. How many dudes here have been in fights? Have, have you ever just kicked a dude in the dick? Do it! Because they, they don't expect it. They're like, this is a fair fight. No, guys, if you step to me, I'm going to square up like I'm real serious, and I'm going to speed bag your dick like I'm training to fight Ivan Drago. <laughs> That's how that shit's going down. And if you push me to the ground, I'm going to do a chin up on that bitch. I, gotta I have about maybe two to three minutes of cardio and whoop ass in me. I have to get this shit over with. <laughs> okay, I don't have that much time. I was just thinking about something today. You ever have been like getting a blowjob and the girl's like, don't be pushing my head down and shit. That is rude and disrespectful. Okay, I agree with that. That's cool. You're going to be nice enough to put my penis in your mouth. You get to make the rules. But I have a question. How come you're allowed to put me in a triangle choke and rub my face in it like I'm a bad puppy? Like, how come that's not rude and disrespectful? Damn, hypocrite. <laughs> All right, that's my time. Two years. This is 
fucking awesome. I can't wait to come back and be here two years from now. This shit's awesome. Get the artist. Yes, Charles Ellis, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse Thomas appreciates all the love you've been giving him tonight. That's not my name, by the way. But ladies and gentlemen, Charles Ellis, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, your next comic, uh, really funny dude. I love, like, th like. There's never been a time where I haven't watched this guy, and like, at some point in his set, I didn't like just fucking bust out laughing. So like, like, just goddamn it, just give him, give him all your credit, give him all your due, ladies and gentlemen. AJ Figgy. Dudes that take Viagra are hard on drugs. <laughs> I was walking through the woods the other day with some friends of mine, and uh, they decided it would be funny to tie me to a tree and throw cherries at me and pour whipped cream all over my face and just leave me there deserted. <laughs> I was hanging out at the bar, and uh, I went to the bathroom, and I came out, and this guy was just taking a dump on my seat. And I'm like, dude, what the hell? That's my bar stool. And he's like, well, you can have it, but I'm keeping the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbation. I'll never forget the first time that I masturbated. It was a stroke of penis. <laughs> You've already heard it before, that doesn't count. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Virgins think outside the box. <laughs> Lethargic beavers don't give a damn. I let Jesus into my heart and I got clogged arteries. I let Jesus into my heart and I got, I, I, excuse me, I've been drinking like all night. <laughs> Jesus, clogged arteries, figure it out. I wonder if when, uh, you know, you, you know how babies, they're born, and then the doctor smacks their ass. I wonder if when Jesus was born, and he got his ass smacked, did he turn the other cheek? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Somebody cut off my feet the other day. Don't look down at my feet. They're not really cut off. It's just as contrived of it as every other joke. But, if somebody cut off my feet the other day, I would have been devastated. I, I would have been pretty defeated. <laughs> Now's a good time for this joke. I was walking through a field, and I came across a bull. And I ripped him in half. Never mind, that joke's terrible. <laughs> I wanted to eat healthy as a kid. My sister and I both wanted to eat healthy as a kid. We wanted to eat salads and stuff like that, but my mother just wouldn't let us. <laughs> I met this guy this black dude, and his hair was set up like a cat's paw. And I'm like, dude, you, you can't do that. You, you just can't get away with that. He's like, why not? I'm like, no, you just, you know, come on. You, you don't do that. Talk to any hairdresser, and they're going to tell you that's an absolute fro paw. <laughs> I, 
I love these jokes. I don't kill you guys. <laughs> They're like my retarded children. I laugh at them every day. <laughs> When I was a kid, <laughs> when I was a kid, I had a hard time counting to ten. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a really cheap joke. <laughs> I feel like Jesse's laughing the hardest because he feels like he should compensate because he stood up for me and from the get-go, like, I'm actually funny or something. And now that guy's laughing, so he's kind of a dick. <laughs> Oreos. Oreos are not just gay. They're also interracial. <laughs> One more. This is my favorite joke. And it's not a pun. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Unless, of course, that girl is an African slave miner. <laughs> Thank you all. AJ Fay, ladies and gentlemen, let him hear it. Uh, I want to leave. I want to leave that smoke door open because I want everybody to know who the next comic is coming onto the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy is one of the best doing it right now, if, as far as I'm concerned. I uh, love this dude. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Corey Marshall! Have a good night, Joe Shane. Good job. Good. Have a good night, Jason Velez. Uh, your next comic, I'm so glad he made it out tonight. Uh, this guy, I think, is so funny. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the very funny Chris Martin. Yeah. I'm always nervous when I do stand-up comedy. I'm nervous, more nervous than Kristen Stewart on a double date with Robert Pattinson and Rupert Sanders. More nervous than Mitt Romney standing in line waiting for unemployment. More nervous than the president of Syria watching uh, Hang 'em High on Turner Classic Movies. Really bad video coming out of the Syrian revolution. We start raising money to buy them tripods for their camera phones. You know, things are really bad when people start fleeing Syria for Iraq. <laughs> Hurricane Sandy hit the East Coast. Meteorologists blamed a large mass of hot air caused by the presidential campaign. <laughs> bad news, uh, Hurricane Sandy nearly wiped out the Jersey Shore. Good news, Hurricane Sandy nearly wiped out the cast of Jersey Shore. Unfortunately, their plan to use Governor Chris Christie as a barrier island failed. <laughs> Disaster porn always gets uh, network news reporters excited. It's hard to say which was wetter, New York subway or ABC's Juju Chang. <laughs> Bought an Android tablet for $100 and I was disappointed. But not as disappointed as someone who bought a $500 iPad and went to a porn site which said, Flash Required. I went to Carrytown to the Palm Reader and she told me that my hands would be covered with a sticky substance in several hours. Damn, she's good. There's a store in Carrytown called One-Eyed Jacks. I think it should be called One-Handed Nerds. There's a Dunkin', a Dunkin' Donuts going into the old 7-Eleven across from the CVS in Carytown. In other words, it's a nutritional upgrade. So, I have such low self-esteem. I, I used to have uh, fantasies about supermodels. Now I have fantasies about J.C. Penney's lingerie models. Uh, I think I'm gonna kill that one. That one's dead. 
So you know you're not getting enough sex when uh, your ideal idea of a threesome is Bristol and Sarah Palin? You know you're not getting enough sex when you look in the obituaries at the pictures and say, I'd tap that. So Justin Bieber's broken up with Selena Gomez. Fortunately, thanks to the sing Justin Bieber singing toothbrush, she can still have Justin Bieber in her mouth. <laughs> Lead singer of uh, Nickelback is now engaged to Avril Lavigne. Hey, he's not interested in somebody with good taste, he's interested in somebody who tastes good. <laughs> Italian, uh, former Italian President Silvio Berlusconi accused of having sex with an underage prostitute. Things could have been worse. They could have been accused of having sex with Snooky <laughs> or Avril Lavigne. The guy behind the voice of Elmo accused of having sex with an underage boy. I knew something was wrong when uh, Sesame Street started licensing the Tickle Me uh, Jerry Saunders doll. Lucasfilm sold to Walt Disney for four billion dollars. <laughs> they wanted they wanted to buy it for three billion, but he threatened to release a sex tape of a coked up Snow White with the seven dwarves. The uh, guy who wrote uh, Toy, uh, Toy Story three is going to be writing the script for Star Wars seven. You can insert your own joke about Han Solo giving uh, Princess Leia a Woody. <laughs> so General Petraeus uh, resigned from the CAA for having an affair with a 40-year-old woman named Paula Broadwell. Kind of a mashup between uh, the spy who loved me and Cougar Town. <laughs> What's wrong with America? James Bond is having sex with Pussy Galore, Xenia on the top, and Holly Goodhead. Uh. I'm glad they got rid of those sexist names for uh, Bond girls. And I don't think the politically correct ones that they came up with were that great either. Uh, Gluteus Free, Misiogynist, and I forgot the third one. So anyway, the new James Bond film is a lot more realistic. I especially like the scene where Dick Cheney tortured a 007 to get him to admit that uh, Rock has uh, WMDs. My name's Chris Martin. Welcome back to the stage, Jesse Jarvis. Congratulations on two years. Let's get to the bartender, Austin. Chris Martin, ladies and gentlemen, let him hear it.